Hey, it's John and I'm back here in our inspection area to answer another one of the common questions that I get asked when I visit your labs. And that is, should I buy an analog or a digital caliper or micrometer, whatever the measuring tool may be? So the analog, like a dial caliper here, has a dial that you have to read and you have to do maybe a little bit of math to get this reading. Whereas the digital, you just turn it on and move it and you read directly off of it. Really, it's a matter of preference. You can use whichever you like. They both do a good job. I prefer the analog instruments a little bit more because it makes it easier for me to do the math, whereas I can measure something and easily just count how many ticks of material I need to take off to get to my target diameter. I don't have to do that math in my head, whereas with the digital caliper, I do. Now with the digital caliper, you can do some handy tricks like measure a hole diameter and set that to be zero and then measure between two holes and it'll automatically take care of that offset for you. But generally that's not something I'm doing a lot of. I have analog and digital sets. I use them for different things. And really, I'll use either as long as you have a good quality measurement tool available. You've got to make sure you can trust your tools. So as long as you buy a high quality tool, a Mitutoyo or a Starrett or a Brown and Sharp, or even some of the imports like what Haas is selling on their website, do a really good job. And that's what we use here in our inspection area.